Throughout Deep Oaken history, we have had a ton of unbalanced, ridiculous, and straight up goofy additions that shape the game into what we see today. Of course, coming from the devs who worked on Rogue Lineage and ABA, broken gameplay is sort of expected. Anyway, what's up guys, it's Punchy, and today I'll be talking about the history of Deep Oaken's most controversial talent, or talents, which have been through everything. The good, the bad, and now what I consider the ugly, it's time to talk about Lava Serpent. Flame Charm is one of those attunements in Deep Oaken that is fairly well-rounded and has honestly the most amount of options. Quick burst damage, outrange players with giant mantras, and even do ragdoll combos with certain flame moves, and despite the basic flame charm abilities being overall decent and, well, good, there's another path you can take. Eruption Path Lava Serpent is an alternative route to your basic flame charm gameplay, which exchanges burn damage over time for a secondary explosion blast, and you might already know what this does, but let's talk about its history. Lava Serpent has actually been around for a very long time, dating all the way back to the drop of Deep Oaken, or at least since February of 2022. Now, during this time period, Lava Serpent was considered one of the strongest things in Deep Oaken if you had a very specific build. Lava Serpent damage would be a flat value, meaning moves that did zero damage, such as Fire Gun, basically would be chunking your HP just like anything else. It definitely was not fun to fight Lava Serpent on release because it just did the same amount of damage no matter what you were hit by. Just like always, Lava Serpent was broken big time. On half of the Flame Charm mantras, almost all of them, it wouldn't even work, and when it did, this type of stuff happened. As you can see in this clip, the burning effect was replaced 100% of the time with an explosive eruption, leading to destructive, I don't know, disasters that just infinite comboed players. This was when Lava Serpent was good, possibly even the best it's ever been, but then came the balancing. When I say Lava Serpent was bad, I mean it was really damn bad. Specifically, three different changes destroyed Lava Serpent during this time period, and it was absolutely unfun to play with. First off, a general addition to Deep Oaken was added called Damage Staling, and this means the more hits you land in rapid succession, the less damage you should be doing. Of course, this was an overall change to prevent infinite combos from being viable, but this really killed Lava Serpent and the builds that use this. Secondly, Lava Serpent damage began to scale based on the move used, so no more disintegrating players with Fire Gun, and yeah, that sucked. And the third blow to Lava Serpent was the cooldown in between procs. If you saw that old clip, the eruptions popping off are almost constant, but now there was a cooldown that made things very, very difficult. Months later, they still weren't finished. Cooldown and wind up on Lava Serpent kept kept on increasing without any buffs, and this really sucked. The only good thing that came out of this talent was the removal of its Azure Flame requirement, and for some reason before this change, you had to have Azure Flames, but that shouldn't have even existed. It was truly a dark time for Eruption players. Before we move on to the ugly section of this discussion, Lava Serpent had a small period of grace, I guess I'm gonna call this the Golden Age, where it was the most balanced it had ever been. Instantly, Eruption became so much better with its Deep Fire Ring upgrade, which reduced the time for explosions to appear, which which is cool. Also, with the Zerf Flames, both range and posture damage increased, and that's also really cool. After this, Lava Serpent got a ton of new talents, which are some of the strongest in all of Deep Oaken. I mean, Molten Defense was basically a free vent, pushing players off of you when your block breaks, and Empowered Eruption just gave increased eruption damage after hitting a crit, and these were always gonna be good. There's also other talents that were solid, but not overpowering, and it's the most balanced state that Lava Serpent has ever seen. Now the time is here, it's about to get ugly. The Lava Serpent path received a new talent talent called the Flora's Lava, and it's very exciting. On Eruption, you drop damaging pools of lava which hurt. The damage is good, and it's kind of hard to avoid, but certain builds made this entirely uncounterable and unfun to fight against, such as this. Things like the Mecha Gatling, as well as variants of the Gravity Bell, prevented players from leaving and destroyed HP instantly, and anytime people brought up Lava Serpent, you see 20 different videos of the same exact situation. This is not okay. That's about it for our Lava Serpent history, and right now we're still in that ugly time period. It's kind of of sad seeing how they'll nerf this, but I don't think Lava Serpent is necessarily the issue. I mean, gravity was definitely a problem, but we'll see, and leave your thoughts down below about what you think should change. That's all for right now, and help me reach 57k. Thanks so much, and have a good one. It's punching time.